Good morning children. Did you complete last class work? The first construction. Did you all finish? Okay. Those who have finished, it's a well done from your teacher's side. Pat your back and say good for yourself. And those who have not completed, see that you complete the work. So today, let's begin our class with exercise 1, second problem. Let's read the question. Construct triangle NIB in which NI is equal to 5.6 cm, IB is equal to 6 cm and BN is equal to 6 cm. What type of a triangle is this? This is the question given. What is the first step that you need to do? Yes, very good. We have to draw a rough sketch of the triangle and then label the given measurements. Let's do that now. Let's write step one. So what are we going to do is, uh, you know that Ni is 5.6. So, Ni is 5.6 centimeters. The line segment Ni initially you have to draw. Then you know that Pn and Ib both are 6 centimeters each. 6 centimeters each. So, let's draw the lines. So, you know that because both of them are of equal length, it can be like this. So, this is 6 centimeters and this side also is 6 centimeters and this part is B. The vertex here is B. So now let's write the step what will we do. Draw a rough sketch. Draw a rough sketch of triangle N I D. And label it with the measurements, with the given measurements, with the given measurements. This is what we are going to do in the first step. Now let's write, let's begin our construction. The second step, what we are going to do? Yes, the first thing what we are going to do is draw a line segment NI of length 5.6 cm. Step 2, let's write. Step 2. Draw a line segment. A line segment NI of length 5.6 centimeters. 5.6 centimeters. Now what you are going to do is take out your scale. 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 Now 5.6 you are going to mark. So here 0 is there. Can you see the measurements? 0 here and here you can see it's 5. And in between you have this 5.5. After that you are going to have 5.6. For you, in your scales it is clearly given. The longest line is the, I will show you the small scale which you are going to use as well. Okay, let's look at the scale. Let's look at the scale. So here, 0 is given. Here, nothing is written but it's 0. 1 cm, 2, 3, 4, 5 cm here. And here the longest line is 5.5. Next to that you have one long line, one small line. This is 5.6. So you are going to mark here, first mark the point because you are drawing the line segment, first mark the point. Here a point and after 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6, 5.6
after 5.5 and this is 5.6 mark a point here after marking the points join the line the two points by drawing a line okay so after you draw the line so here you have 5.6 So the first thing what we have done is we have drawn Ni which is of 5.6 centimeters. Now you know that from N to B the measurement is 6 centimeters. So use your compass and your scale to measure. Yesterday's class I have taught you how to keep the compass on a flat base and see that the pencil and the uh, pointer here is of same length. After you check this, what you are going to do is use your scale, scale and you have to see from 0 to 6. You need to drag the compass and see that it is 6 centimeters. From here to here, are you able to see 6 centimeters? little bit exact measurement if you take your figure is going to be perfect okay six centimeters okay here six centimeters from zero to six centimeters you have taken and now what you're going to do is now N as the center, draw a, draw an arc and I as the center, draw another arc. So I am going to use my board compass to draw this. So from N, N with N as the center, I have drawn an arc of 6 centimeters from N. So let's do it. So from N, draw an arc. Now from I to B also the measurement is 6 centimeters. So from I, I am going to use my compass, keep the pointer at I and then draw another arc which is cutting the first arc. When both the arcs are cutting each other, you get a point. This point is B. The point that is cutting both of them is B. And now use your scale and draw in NB and BI. NB and BI. And then write the measurement. This is 6 centimeters and this is 6 centimeters. This is the triangle that you have got. Now you know that what type of triangle is this? This is the question which is asked. What type of triangle is this? You know that two sides are equal. What is the name? Come on, guess it. Well done. You are all right. It's an isosceles triangle. What is it? It's an isosceles triangle. So now, before we write, let's write, complete writing the steps of construction. So step 2, draw a line segment NI of length 5.6 cm. This line we have finished drawing. Now step 3, let's try. Step 3, with center N, draw an arc, draw an arc of radius. Of radius 6 centimeters. Understood this? With center N. With center N, draw an arc of radius 6 centimeters. Now let's try step 4. Step 4. After we have drawn from N, now we have to check the length from I. We know that. From 
I. Okay, let's write step four. B. Since B is at a distance of is at a distance distance of six centimeters from I. What did we do? Yes. Okay children, let us do the next problem, problem 3. Construct an equilateral triangle APE with side 6.5 centimeters. So here, what is the first step that we need to do? We have to draw a rough sketch of triangle APE and label it with the given measurements. So let's do that. You know that all the sides are equal. Okay. So this side, this side and this side all are equal and the base I am taking it as A, P and E is here. A, P, E. And each side each of them 6.5 centimeters. 6.5 centimeters. So now let's write step 1. Step 1. What is step one? Draw a rough sketch. Draw a rough sketch. Of triangle A, P, E and label. Given measurements. 
with the given measurements. This is the first step. Okay, they will it with the given measurements. Now the second step is we need to draw a P. A P of length 6.5 centimeters. Let's do that. Use your scale for drawing it. Use your scale children. So here you can see that it is 0 and 6.5. So here you can see it is 6 and the next biggest line between 6 and 7 is 6.5. So mark a point at 0 and then mark a point at 6.5. After you mark the points, draw one straight line and use sharp pencils to do this. Understood? Now draw that. Okay children, the line segment AP of length 6.5 centimeters we have drawn. You know that the other two sides are also of length 6.5 centimeters. You can use your compass and then measure the length of 6.5 centimeters or because I have drawn this length also as 6.5 centimeters, directly I can keep like this and see that it is matching with the point which is here. So like this because uh, it is 6 point. Same length. Because it is same length I am taking like this. Okay. If 7 centimeters is given and if you do like this, it's going to be wrong. Okay. So, draw an arc. With center A, draw an arc of length 6.5 centimeters. That is step 3. Now, let us do step 4. You know that since E is a distance of 6.5 centimeters from P, so now what we are going to do? P and center draw another arc of 6.5 centimeters cutting the first arc at E. So this point, intersecting point, this is E. Understood? Now the last step of this construction is what should we do? We have to draw the lines. Join A, E. A and E. Join A, E and E, P. Join A, E and E, P. So, the given construction of A, P, E. A, P, E construction is completed. Understood this? Now, let us write the steps for construction. Step 1 we have already completed. Let's write step 2. Step 2, what did we do? Draw a line segment. Draw a line segment of length 6.5 centimeters. Okay? Now step 3, what did we do? Step 3, with A as center, are you observing all the steps? The sentences are same, only the measurements are being changed and the names of the vertices are being changed. Remaining everything is same. Once you understand one construction, you should be able to do all the other constructions on your own. So here, with a as center, draw an arc, draw an arc of radius 6.5 centimeters. 6.5 centimeters. This is your step 3. Now let's try what's our step 4. Step 4 is with, sorry, since we know that E is at a distance, start the first step with since. 
distance e is a distance